What is up everybody? My name is Coach Ann. I am so excited that you are joining me today and that we get to play together. It's so fun that we could connect in this way even when schools are closed. What I want you to do right now is I want to give you the opportunity to share this link with friends and classmates and family um, to invite them to join you so we can play together. Also, if there's anybody home with you, friends or family, invite them to join in on the fun too. But if you're like me and it's just you watching right now, it's all good. You're not alone. We're going to do this together. So we're going to do a couple of things on our checklist. First, to make sure we're ready to go. First is make sure that you have water somewhere by you. Coach Ann has her water on the coffee table over here. You just can't see it because it's off the camera. But it's super important to take water breaks and drink water when you need it. Okay? Number two, make sure that your play space or for today, your dance floor is clear. So if you look around, there's nothing on the floor, no toys or anything that I'm gonna step on and hurt myself. Making sure that the floor is clear. You have space to move to your right and to your left. I moved a coffee table earlier and if you need to move something so it's out of your way, make sure you ask an adult so it's safe. So first, water, check. Second, dance floor is clear, check. Third most important thing is for today, when we're dancing together, I want you to focus on self-confidence. Let me hear you say self-confidence. No, 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 I think you can do better than that. Let me hear you say self-confidence. Awesome, okay. So if you're like, I hear that all the time, I don't really know what it means, right? So that's okay, I can break it down for you. So self-confidence means trust in yourself, in who you are, and in your abilities. So for some examples is if I have self-confidence, I trust in my ability to show up with a positive attitude. I trust in my ability to try new things even if I don't know how to do it. I trust in my ability to work hard. I trust in my ability to get up when I make a mistake and try again. I also trust in my ability to be kind to others. I trust in my ability to make good decisions. And all of this is a part of what it means to have self-confidence. Self-confidence is so important, friends, because when you have self-confidence, that means you feel positive about who you are. You feel positive about the community and the people around you. You feel positive about the world and the future. And that is so important. We want you to know that exactly who you are is so important. Everybody say, I'm important. Exactly who you are. You are so important. You are so valued. You are so loved. And we want you to feel good about who you are. Now, one thing about self-confidence is you may not wake up every day and have perfect self-confidence. And that's okay. Coach Ann doesn't wake up every day feeling perfect perfectly confident. But the cool thing is that you can always work on your self-confidence and build it up, which is what we're going to do together today. One of the best ways to build your self-confidence is by playing. When you are physically active, it means that you are building your self-confidence because you're trying new things, you're working hard, you're letting yourself make some mistakes and try again, right? And you are making, you're having fun so you feel good about yourself, you feel good about people and the world around you, which is so important. And one of my very, very favorite ways to build self-confidence is dancing. I love to dance. I love to dance at parties, I love to dance in my living room, I love to dance with friends, I love to dance with myself. It doesn't even matter if there's music on. And today we're gonna build our self-confidence through learning some choreography, right? Choreography is a fancy word for dance steps, don't worry about it. But we're gonna build our self-confidence and how dancing builds your self-confidence is you're trying something new, you're challenging your body and your mind, right? And what's cool is you can be yourself. We want you, I want you to be yourself when you're learning these dance moves. Add your own swag, add your own flavor to it. You don't have to look exactly like me or anybody else. Make it your own, okay? We're gonna talk about some other ways to build self-confidence at the end of this video, but for now, let's get started. So first, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna throw this on. If you want to, throw on something that makes you feel, you know, make sure that you're feeling yourself. Feel swaggy, you feel good about Dancing, here we go, I think I'm ready. So when we're dancing, we always do eight counts. We're gonna learn four eight counts. And what that means is when I say five, six, seven, eight, all of our dance moves are gonna be associated with a number and it's just one through eight. When we get to eight, 
we start over at one, and that helps us to remember the routine, okay? So, here we go. I'll say five, six, seven, eight, and you count with me, okay? It's easier for your brain to remember when your body and your mouth is moving at the same time. It'll help you remember the choreography. So what I'm gonna do with my right leg, it looks like my left leg on the screen, but I'm mirroring you right now. So I'll call out the right or left leg or hand, okay? So right leg, you're gonna kick, and then you're gonna put your weight on your right leg, and then you're gonna go back with your left. So it looks like five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, okay? So with your hands, I like to go in, out, but you can, like I said, add your own flavor or your style to it, do whatever you want. Here we go, let's just do one and two. Ready, count with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, good job. Now, you're gonna do the same thing, but with your left foot kicking out first. Three and four, okay? Good job, everybody. Tap, pat yourself on the back, say, good job, me. Awesome, here we go, count with me, let's go slow, ready? You're gonna go, you're gonna do that, and you're gonna repeat that again until we get to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Good job. Okay, that was our first eight count. You're already a quarter of the way done. That's awesome. Do it again with me. We're gonna go a little bit faster, but count with me. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Perfect, okay. So, when we get here, you're gonna bring your leg in and you are going to pose and your left hand is gonna point up, my arm is straight and my legs are bent a little bit and I'm gonna look that way. I'm gonna hold this for two. So it's gonna go one, two. And then I'm gonna go to my right and I'm gonna go three, four. Then the next pose, I'm gonna step out with my left leg and put both hands out, five, six. Last one is my favorite. You're gonna jump back, your legs are apart. Oh, your legs are apart like me. And you're gonna go like this. And this is your seven, on eight you're gonna nod, eight, okay? And so with those poses, you just wanna basically freeze once you hit those poses so it looks better, right? So do your best to freeze, but I'll go over the poses so you know them. So we just did one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. First pose is straight left arm, no spaghetti arms, bend your knees and you're gonna look this way. One, two, count with me, three, four, both hands, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, that's two eight counts, you're halfway there, let's put it all the way together on our magic word and we're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the magic word basically, but you're gonna count with Coach Ann, okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and poses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So good, the more that you do it, after this, when we're finished, you can rewind and practice the moves again, the easier the moves will get, okay? So now, we talked about having some swag earlier. You all have it, you have it inside of you already. I don't need to help you with that because you have what you need. So what we're gonna do on this next move is your arms are gonna go up and you're gonna swing them a little bit, just a little circle. My fingers are pointed and I'm gonna point down at my feet. So I'm gonna go from the right side of my body a little bit to the left and I'm gonna go down. Then I'm gonna go other way and point down. So I'm gonna go one, two. My body is moving with it so I go lean, one, two, and I'm tapping my foot on the floor and I'm pointing at that foot like, hey, look at me go, ready? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I do it, I'm gonna back up just a little bit each time, right? And add some flavor to it, I'm moving my body. So the way that it goes is one, two, three, four, eight, five, six, seven, eight. That's three eight counts, friends. You are so awesome. Can you try that move with me again, just that eight count? Just so that your body gets used to it. So you're gonna swing around and then step, right? So it's a swing, step, swing, step. And when you do it, move your eyes 
and your glance in that direction that you're swinging, okay? So let's do it again together. Here we go, ready? Just that move, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see how I moved back a little bit? That's awesome. So you did three eight counts. We have one more eight count to go. It's my favorite one. But let's put everything together from the beginning or from the top. The top just means the beginning when you're dancing or you're singing, right? Wow, I rhymed. That's awesome. Here we go. Ready? Count with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five and six, seven. Poses left, two, right, two, three, four. Oh, that was five, six, sorry, seven, eight. And then from here, you're gonna swing your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're ready for the last one. Here we go. Really fun. Be careful. Your feet are going to cross. That's one. And then you're gonna turn so that they uncross. When you do it in a one, two, it looks like this. One, two. Are you there? Make sure you're standing straight up. Here we go. Practice that again with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. When you do it, you can put your arms up if you want, right? You can do a pose if you want, whatever it is to get you back there. So you're gonna go one, spin, two. What you're gonna do here is one of my favorite moves by my favorite dancer of all time. His name is Michael Jackson. You're gonna kick out with your right and then kick it in so it looks like three, four, right? So you're gonna go, make sure you don't kick anybody or anything. Three, four, five, six. You're gonna turn this way. And then I'll show you how we're gonna end. But first, let's put it together from this part. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And all I'm doing is I'm turning and facing my body this way, I'm facing the wall. I don't know where you're facing, but turn your body so it's sideways like me. Okay, let's see if before we do our final move, we can go from the top all the way to there. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my favorite move of all time. Here we go. What you're gonna do is, you can see my feet, you're gonna lift one foot, so it's up like this. Let's practice in place, okay? And then you're gonna switch your weight, ready? Left. Now I'm gonna switch my weight again, right. And then I'm gonna switch my weight again, left. So once you do this a couple of times, see how my body's bouncing with it, because my weight is going. You're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna slide. This, my friends, is called the moonwalk. So here, you're gonna slide. I'm gonna slide off camera. There we go. Practice it again. So right leg up. My feet are glued together. So you're gonna do this. Switch the weight, switch the weight, switch it back, switch it back. When you're ready, add a slide with it, okay? And that's how we're gonna end our time, okay? End our routine. So you just want the last eight count is a one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then you're gonna go seven, eight, you're sliding out, okay? Let's put all of that together from the beginning. You look great. Everybody say, I look awesome. Everybody say, I can dance. Awesome, let's count from the beginning. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Pose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see my feet? Here we go. Seven, eight. 
Perfect. Okay. Great job, everybody. You can play this again and just practice. Practice makes progress, and it's okay if you don't make it perfect, okay? So when you're dancing, make sure that you don't worry about what anybody else thinks. You don't have to look like anybody else. You want to dance like you, right? And so in building your self-confidence, what we're going to do later after this, we're going to have a cool down and we're going to do a cheer like we always do in Playworks fashion. But I want you to think about how you can build your self-confidence. Is it playing more? Is it waking up and saying positive things about yourself? Maybe writing positive notes to yourself and putting it in the bathroom mirror? Or maybe it is making sure that the friends that you speak to are encouraging to you and make you feel positive about yourself, about school, about your family, about your community, about your future, making sure that you fill yourself, um, what you're listening to, what you're watching, with things that help you build your self-confidence. And know that every single day when you play, when you get physically active, you're building your self-confidence too. Thank you so much for dancing with me. We are going to finish with one of my favorite claps. It's called the DJ clap, okay? So the way that this goes is when I say one, two, three, we're all gonna clap together. Let's practice, one, two, three. You're gonna put on your DJ headphones and you're gonna hold one headphone and the other hand is going to go like this on the turntable and you're gonna go, I'm aw, I'm aw, I'm r -r -r awesome, okay? That's a DJ clap. Let's do it all together, ready? DJ clap on three, DJ clap on me. One, two, three. I'm aw, I'm aw, I'm r -r -r awesome. Thank you so much, friends, for joining. Coach Ann had so much fun dancing with you. We'll see you for the cool down. Bye.